everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garso Twins, I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, we'd love it if you would subscribe so you don't miss any of our uploads. Today we're going to be doing a fun video. We've loved cream bronzers this year and last year, and so we mm -hmm. thought it would be fun to round them up and do a cream bronzer showdown where we rank them from our favorite to our least favorite. And just keep in mind, we own these, so we love and use them all. We recommend all of these to you, but we wanted to kind of, you know, have a little showdown, and so you guys will know our favorites. Yeah, and we'll swatch them all throughout the video and describe the formula so you can see which one you would like. We're actually starting with our quote-unquote least favorite, um, but as Brenna mentioned, we like all of these. Mm -hmm. and, and before we start, special shout out to the Milk Cream Bronzer because that was kind of what got us into cream bronzer. Yeah. We both don't have it in our collection anymore, so we didn't really want to include it if we couldn't um, swatch it and really like show you the formula. But, you know, shout out to that, that product because it really got us into this. Um, okay, so the last on the list is the Tower 28 Bronzino Cream Bronzers. And first of all, this one, I love that it is different than the rest, but it's also why it's last on the list. This is like a very metallic formula. So I don't even know if you can see in the pan, but once we swatch it, you'll be able to see. I have the shade West Coast. And it is super emollient and there is so much pearl in it. When I first got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like a pearl, like a metallic eyeshadow. But then I put it on my cheeks and I feel like this is a very magical product in that it, it like really looks so different on the cheeks. So like I said, it's really emollient. If you're familiar with the Tower 28 blushes, it has that you know, really creamy emolliency, but it's actually pretty thin. I think that's one of the thing I, things I really love about the Tower 28 cheek products is they don't ever feel too heavy on the cheeks like when you dip your finger in you could be like "Ooh, that might feel like really thick on my skin but it really does blend out into this like lighter weight product so on the cheeks this particular color on me west coast kind of turns into like a red based bronze which i actually really like because i've worn this on its own without any blush and i feel like it sort of acts as like a highlighter bronzer blush all in one um, and the bronzer tone in here is pretty neutral. So it's like a neutral with red undertones with a ton of pearl. So I think it's really unique and that's why I love that it's in my collection because I don't have any other cream bronzer in my collection that has pearl in it. And I also don't really have another one that has this sort of undertone, this like red undertone. So it's really unique, but I will say it's not for everyone. Like if you have oily skin, I don't think you would like this just because there's so much pearl in it. If you have mature skin, I also don't think you would like it because the pearl can sort of emphasize, you know, like fine lines and some texture, but I really appreciate that they, you know, came out with this formula that was super unique. And the other thing I love about this, well, number one, it's only $20, which I think is the most, but it's pretty small, right? Yeah, but one of the most affordable options we have here. Um, but yeah, you do only get 0 0.15 grams, but if you guys use cream bronzer, you know, like I feel like mm -hmm. I go through them yeah. pretty slow. Um, but that's not actually true because I have gone through those milk makeup bronzers. But the other great thing about this is out of all the ones we're going to talk about, I think this has the best shade range now. They have five. No, this one. Oh, really? It has like eight shades. Does my works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there's five colors. They just launched new shades in this. And it goes like all the way down to like a very deep bronze, which is amazing because I feel like a lot of brands don't focus on inclus inclusivity a lot when it comes to bronzers. Mm -hmm. But you know, it needs to be deep enough to bronze like deeper skin tone. So I love that they did that shade range and now there's five colors. So I feel like that's great. And yeah, it's a really unique, pretty formula. Next up is the Patrick Ta, what is the Sculpt Duo? Sculpt, Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This one is $38 at Sephora. There are three different shades. We have two of them here. We have She Sculpted, which is the medium shade. Mm -hmm. And then She Statuesque is the light shade. I'll show you this one. I did a full video on this, so we don't have to talk at length because I apply it in that video yeah. and go into it. But I did do the review on the lighter shade, She Statuesque. And like Britta said, we have since picked up the medium. Because in that video, I did kind of go on about how I felt like the contour, I loved the color, but it was like I had to really build it up, which I did really, I do still really like that you have that option, mm -hmm. but um, the medium shade, you know, you have to use less layers because Yeah, the medium shade is, if, at least in the cream, is really, really nice. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, yeah, like Carly said, you have to use a little less product than in the She Statuesque, at least on our skin tone. Um, and I think that this almost is like a 
bronzer contour hybrid. Mm -hmm. Like you can use it as a bronzer as well. Um, so this formula is actually really unique, I think. Me it's, too. Like you said, you talked about it in that video, but it's very, very creamy. Um, it, but like Carly mentioned, it's very buildable. So if you're new to like a cream bronzer, I think you would really like this yeah, one. Yeah, this is the thinnest formula by far. Yeah. I, think. I mean, the Fenty Magic is really thin too. But out of all the products we're going to talk about, I feel like this has the thinnest texture. So you really can't go overboard. Yeah. Like even with the medium shade on our skin tone, mm -hmm. I felt like it was so easy to blend. So yeah, for beginners, I feel like this, this is going to be the best really, option. Really good place to start. Um, and you get the powder in here too. So if you really like a powder bronzer, but you want to dip your toes into cream, I think this is a really great path forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really easy to use. Um, I think the only reason it didn't come up higher on our list is because a lot of people might not want the powder in the yeah. cream and you kind of have to buy them together. Um, but, and I definitely prefer the cream over the powders. I do too. Yeah. I think the powders are really nice, but they're both very warm. Yeah. And I wish they were a bit more neutral, which I did mention in that video. So, yeah. So that's why we really love this product, but we are putting it at number four um, just because if you're looking for a cream and then you want to buy this, it also comes with a powder. So just keep that in mind. But I do think the $38 price point is really fair. I agree. on the product. You've done you a get. lot of product. Okay, for number three, we have like a 3A, 3B situation because... Well, because we have different ones. So, like, this yeah. is my three, but yeah. then that's well, yours. But I, I also own this one, yeah, and I would true. agree that they're just equal. Couldn't decide, so they're mm -hmm. all three. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to talk about Tarte first? These sure. are very different products, by the way. They are. Yeah. So, number three is our Tarte mm -hmm. Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer in seashells seashells yeah um this obviously is so well loved for me i hit pan me on too it. i didn't hit pan quite yet but like i love this stuff yeah it's really good so i feel like three and above is like we think anyone would like yeah um but this is amazing this is probably like after the milk makeup the first cream bronzer that i purchased mm -hmm. and like made me fall in love with cream bronzers um it is a little bit deep and warm i will say yeah agreed so, they did do expand the shade range in this as well they did yeah oh i didn't can you look at the price while i talk yeah. about it mm -hmm. um so first of all i love this packaging it's so cute especially yeah. for summer i think i got it last year last summer mm -hmm. or last spring so it's like about a year old but it was like the perfect time of year for this like cute packaging a cream bronzer you get a lot of product in here of like this was the only cream bronzer i used for basically like all of 2020 until the end until i got a few more others in my collection it lasted me a long time oh it's 29 dollars, which is such a good deal such it's a good deal 16 grams as previously mentioned this is only 4.5 grams. Yeah. So you get a lot of product in here. Yeah, that's crazy actually. And they so don't this have, is a really good deal. They, they have three shades on the Tarte website. I was gonna say, they don't have all the shades on Sephora, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Yeah, <laughs> but they have three shades on the Tarte website. Um, so again, going back to the formula, so it's a very like deeper warm shade. So it's not like my perfect shade match, which is maybe why it's at number three, but the formula is one of those that is pigmented, but really blends out beautifully. So like a little goes a long way, um, but when you're blending it onto the skin, like it never looks patchy, it never looks streaky. It does really warm up super nicely in the skin and it does have, I would say like a dummy matte finish. Yeah, I have been wearing this a ton this week actually, just because I haven't been wearing foundation. Um, just like when we'll run into our office like i just like put on my my sunscreen and i just been throwing this on my cheeks quickly and i like forget how much i love it yeah like what i said i think the only reason it's not honestly like number one is because of the color yeah it's really beautiful but it is warm mm -hmm. so if you don't want like a warm tone i feel like i can't really wear this in winter like it's only like in the mm -hmm. summer when i'm like really warming up my face but the formula is like deeper and more pigmented than the Patrick Ta. So I guess less user friendly for beginners in our cream products, but it blends out so nicely. Yeah. And it blends out over, like I said, my bare skin. It blends out over foundation, super seamless, like any. I can use like any brush yeah, with this any too. Any base product, mm -hmm. yeah, any brush, and this blends out flawlessly. Mm -hmm. So I just love, I love the formula. It could potentially be the most, the easiest to blend. As, yeah, as I think I'm looking so too, at actually. I know the Patrick Ta you said was, but mm -hmm. that one you have to like build up. So if you want something like quick and effortless, this is probably yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and we've never tried the Chanel product that everyone loves, which is like whatever one, you know, holy grail of cream bronzers. But I've heard that this is a great dupe and I could see that mm -hmm. because I feel like it's that warm tone and you know it's really creamy and easy to blend yeah also i don't think we mentioned this but this one is considered clean at sephora yeah. as is the tower 28 yes if that's important to you mm -hmm. okay so my other three this is actually getting discontinued so i'm gonna put it in here because i love it but 
I don't know how much longer you'll be able to get it. And it is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. So this product I picked up because Amanda Z here on YouTube like raved about it. And it always looks so nice on her skin. So I was like, I'm going to get that. I'm looking up how much it is. 26. Okay, it is, yeah, 26 and you get 7.10 grams. So a decent amount mm -hmm. um, for the price. And it comes in a stick. So this is the only stick form we have, right? Yeah. Which I don't love that it comes yeah, in a I stick. Yeah, I prefer a pan for sure. Number one, you know, Makeup 101. If it's in a stick, it has to be hard enough that it holds it, the bullet shape. Um, it can't be like as creamy as a hot board, like something in here. So generally I just like things that are creamier because uh, they're usually easier to blend. So I just don't really gravitate towards sticks because they are generally like a slightly harder formula. And this one is slightly harder, but it is magic. So how I apply this is I like literally take it on the back of my hand and like do this to warm it up. I would never go directly on. I feel like that would be a disaster waiting to happen. Like it's too hard for that. It would remove my makeup underneath. So I put it on my hand, I dab my brush in and then I go in. And this formula is, it's so hard to describe. It's like, it's definitely the most matte out of all the products we're going to talk More about. More matte than the NARS too? Yes. It's really matte, not really matte, but it looks like slightly matter than your natural skin tone. Um, and it is so incredibly thin, like I'm touching it right now, and it just feels so thin. And it's a very powdery, high yes, powder content. Yes, it's mm -hmm. like powdery, um, but weightless on the cheeks, and like I said, just so thin, and it usually lasts all day. So it'd probably work as an eyeshadow as well. Yeah, I think plus the matchsticks were meant to be used like everywhere, oh. right? I thought so, oh, maybe, maybe not. Um, and you can really start off small, like I just put a little bit on my hand, and so I do think, I would say this is user friendly in the fact that it's like thin and weightless and if you do my hand method, like putting it on your hand first and dabbing it in, you can like build up the color, but the color definitely comes out right away. It's not like the Patrick Ta where you really do have to build it up. Like <clears throat> there's color there, at least on my skin tone with this shade Mocha and it's a really beautiful color. It's the reason I bought this. In here it looks really cool tone because it's one of their contour sticks. But when it goes on my skin, it looks a bit more warm tone. It's a little more yellow in it. Yeah, and looks more of just kind of like a bronzer tone, which I really love because it's kind of like that contour bronzer in one. And yeah, for like a more matte formula, um, longer lasting, I love this product. I'm really sad they're discontinuing it and I'm not really sure why, um, but... Also, the shade range is really good on these two, right? Yeah, shade range is really great. Obviously, Fenty mm -hmm. um, accessible because you can get it at Sephora. Well, most of these you can get at Sephora. All yeah. of them? No, not this. Okay. Almost all of them you can get at Sephora. Oh, not mine either. Um, but yeah, really good product. Wanted to mention if you can still get your hands on it before it gets discontinued. Okay, and for my number two pick, which this was a close call because I think I used this one the most maybe, but I'm putting it at number two. We'll talk about that when we get to number one. But this one is more of like my everyday cream bronzer and for a few reasons. So this is the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. I did a full video on this, so again, I won't harp on it. I'll link that down below. This has a whopping eight shades, which is amazing for a cream product. Um, you can get this on Beautylish. It's $26 and you get 10 grams. So really great deal. And this is definitely my favorite packaging because I love how large the pan is. So you can really get a brush or a sponge in here. There's a large mirror. It opens and closes really easily. I wish it was a little bit more weighted, but for the price, I'm not complaining. Um, I really love the pan size. I have the shade light too in this. Um, it has, so this is called a bomb contour. It's meant to be more of a contour product, but I think that the shades, at least from what I've seen on the website and what I've heard from people on YouTube, that these are more of like, they're not really contour shades. They do lean a little bit warm. This one in particular has a lot of yellow in it, um, which really suits my skin tone, but I wouldn't really consider this a contour shade at all. This is definitely a bronzer on me. So I can't speak to, I haven't tried all the shades, so there might be some more cool toned ones in there, but just the light too is definitely very yellow based. Um, so the thing I love about this is that it blends out really beautifully and you can build it up, but I feel like one layer of this just gives me like that really natural bronze look without ever looking cakey or heavy. It has more of like a satin dry down, I would say. Like it can look dewy depending on what's underneath. Um, if you have like a more dewy base, this will like continue to look dewy. But if you have more of a matte base, I feel like this is more of a satin finish, but it's not matte. Um, but it just looks like skin on your skin. So I think that's why it looks so natural. 
and I talked about this in my video, but I tried to apply this with a few different brushes and couldn't get it to work because this is like a balmy product. Um, the texture feels very balmy, like more so than any of the others. It's a little bit thicker. Like I know we talked about the Patrick Ta and how that one's very emollient, but it's thin. This one's very emollient, but it's thicker. So I feel like a lot of the brushes I was using was kind of like not blending it out perfectly um it looked a little bit patchy but then when i went in with a damp beauty sponge that was like the ticket to get this to work for me just slightly damp um and i felt like it's so easy to blend out with a sponge you just dip the sponge in here you know like put it all over the perimeter of your face and you're good to go um this one also works really well on my nose like sometimes i try to use cream bronzer on my nose and it looks very like patchy or mm -hmm. heavy this one looks beautiful like on the sides of my nose um, and on my eyes like I just can just put it everywhere and it just looks very natural and pretty and so that's why I said like this is my most used because I can just use it on like an everyday makeup basis whereas some of these others are a little bit more pigmented this one is like the most natural blends the easiest seamlessly into my skin and the shade is really flattering and unique and the shade is like unlike any of the others if you, like obviously I'll swatch it for you but I love it and I know a lot of people have been raving about her cream bronzers that are on Sephora and I'm so curious how those compare so I'm going to need to pick one up but if you tried both you let me know how they compare. I'm kind of thinking that those are a bit more matte and this is like more balmy like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, my number two, I also did a whole video on these, so I will link it down below, but it's the Sculpt New York Cream Tint Pros and there's the Sculpt in Bronze Cream Tint Pro. So these two down here, this this one right here, which I hit pan on, is the shade Contour, and this one right here is the shade Light Medium. Number one, my only gripe with these is how dirty they get. Like, they get so disgusting because they're just, like, poured in at least little pans. It's something about the tiny shape, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, none of my other That's products. That's what I'm saying. Like, this one, the pan size is perfect. Yeah, none of my other products I've gotten so dirty, but... That's besides the fact this formula is incredible. So, they are very tiny. I'm looking up the weight right now. Um, they're each 0 0.15 ounces, and they are... $16 each so I wouldn't say like yes $16 is affordable but like I already hit pan on the contour shade so I definitely think I'm going to go through these pretty quickly but the formula is so good much like how Berta describes the Danessa Myricks I feel like these are like my go-to for every day like when I just want like a natural sculpted look I just mix these two together actually the contour and the light medium bronzer and I'll just like dab back and forth and go go in and it looks so skin like like out of all the ones I'm talking about the, the, these look the most skin like and the most natural and if I just use the contour shade I do think I can like create like a natural sculpt but it like legitimately looks like I barely have makeup on I don't know how it works but they blend out so flawlessly much like the Patrick Ta I feel like they're so user friendly because they are emollient but thin like they're very I mean, I wouldn't say similar than the Patrick Ta because I do think that these are a little bit creamier and like slightly more pigmented, but similar in the sense that like they're thin and really easy to blend out. Um, I love the undertones in here, much like how Berta said about the Danessa Myricks. I feel like the light medium bronzer has a yellow undertone, like she said. Actually, did we ever compare these? I don't know. Yours probably is a little bit more cool or neutral than mine. Well, that's the contour. This is the bronzer. This one, I'm saying. I feel like they look so similar. Yeah, maybe. I we're going to swatch them right now. Oh, yeah. I guess they are pretty similar. Yeah, they do. They look really similar. Yeah. Okay, so... The light medium shade looks really similar to this Danessa Myricks and that mm -hmm. they both have that yellow undertone, which like Berta said, we have neutral undertones, but for some reason, like yellow based products, like yellow based lipsticks, lipsticks and yellow yeah. based bronzers look really good on us. So, um, I usually gravitate towards those. So I love that in the bronzer shade. Originally in my review, I think I said I thought it was a little off and like weird, but now I really like the color. But the contour shade is my favorite. It's just this like perfect neutral brown on my skin tone. And yeah, I really like the formula. Um, I love supporting like a smaller business. And they have six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So also a good shade mm -hmm. range for a bronzer. I, most of these actually we're talking about are pretty good. Well, besides our number one. Yeah, they get scolded for that. Okay, our number one is newest to our collection. Mm -hmm. um, but we both love it and do not regret this purchase. It's the NARS. What is this called? It's called the Sunkiss Sun Bronzer Cream. I did a full review. Again, I'll link it down below. Sorry, it's getting a little dark. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but reasons we love this. The formula 
is more matte than a lot of the options we have. Not as matte as the matchstick, but I'd say it's a little more matte than it's the rest. It's most matte. For yeah, sure. so it really lasts all day on the skin. Mm -hmm. It looks like it chisel. I have it on right now. Do you? No. Oh, I, well, I have it on, so you can see it's the only bronzing product I have on. Um, I feel like it really does chisel your cheeks if you really pinpoint the color, but that is very hard to do because it is so pigmented. Yeah. But I kind of love that about it. I feel like the rest of these products are so user friendly for beginners. This is not user friendly for mm -hmm. beginners. But if you love a cream bronzer and you're willing to like work on it, like this yeah. just gives you like for our skin tone, this color looks so like perfectly neutral. Yeah. It doesn't look overly the color is amazing. Or warm. We have Laguna. Yeah, and it is it is really comparable to the Laguna powder. I used to own that. I would just say that one was a slightly warmer, and obviously that was shimmery. This is not. Um, I just love how it looks on the cheeks. I feel like it makes my cheeks look blurred, like yeah. with, because of all the silicones in it. It like looks blurred, and like you could wear this with that foundation, and I feel like it, I was like, just gonna say like we don't go to the beach, but like I can't wait to go to the beach and like just throw I know, this on. It gives you like a flawless look. And it just like really helps to chisel, but like still kind of looks natural because it's a cream. Yeah. Um, I have seen some reviews saying that this was a little hard to blend, and I I guess I could see that depending on what base product you use. But we like we both love the Neutrogena skin tint, which mm -hmm. also has silicones in it and some other products. And I haven't really had issues blending, um, but I did want to call that but out. But you do have to work. I was gonna blend. say because it is so pigmented that I think that. Like you said, you really have to work it in. Um, again, how I go in, I like dip my brush and then I dip, I dip, a, I basically just like go like this on the back of my yeah, hand too. until it's like fully mixed into the bristles so it's not like patchy on the brush. And then I go in very light handed. And I even have to like pat some here and then pat some here and then go back and blend it out because yeah. even like one cheek will be yeah. too much. And this sounds like a lot of maintenance for our number one cream bronzer but like between the color and the dry down and the formula I just love it so much. And the, I like that it's in a jar. We talked about this. I wish it was in a bit of a nicer package for $38. Like it's very lightweight but I like that it's in a jar and you do get 19 grams which yeah. we just realized which is insane. This is I, the most out of even more than the tart. Yeah and this will last you like a lifetime. Well it should last you 18 months because that's the purchase after opening <laughs> period after period opening. after opening yeah um but i i appreciate that they give you so much product but i almost wish they had like a travel size of this for a lesser cost yeah then i true. would just buy that but it's it's beautiful it's really good we really love this stuff i mean do you think my cheeks look good because yeah feel like they look it's so great Okay, thank you guys so much for watching our cream bronzer video. Obviously, there are so many cream bronzers now that we have not tried them all. So if you, there are any that you think we would like or you just want us to try, please let us know down below because we trust you guys and yeah. we want to hear because we love cream bronzers. It's like the Huda Chan Tour. I've been curious about that yes. for years. Yeah, I've been curious about that too and I think people are comparing it to this. Yeah, we do have so I, much to get through though. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah now I don't want to, I shouldn't bronzer. like buy more, but like I saw people talking about the Nessa My Roots Balm Contour and like now I can't live without it. So if there's anything that you think we need, please let us know because we would love to try. And thank you so much for watching.